so if they're going to fit a small boutique, it goes full size. An eBay one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That will make it fit, won't we? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go through what we get inside. Can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? See if you can hold it. So you get the outside bit. It's so easy. Oh, I'm catching all of this. Hey. I'm catching it. Alright. That man's dead. Good job, mate. Alright, Alright, so here's a little bit of a look on the inside. So we're going to remove this. I've already undone the bolts for it. And then the snook will go from in here. Then it goes inside the guard and it comes out through this. Alright, so you see there the airbox is out. And this is the factory intake. But that gets replaced with the snorkel one. So next bit I'll just move, remove that. As you see up in the guard. See that pipe there, that plastic pipe. That's the one that has to come out to get changed to the snorkel one, the pickup. Circle 
he's like a whole sore on there, but I'm just trying to kind of sneak behind the arm. Alright, so now that's cut, you kind of probably want to test the bit for it. See if it fits in there. So it looks like this bit replaces that section, which is a good idea because this is not airtight anyway. Like if you went through water, water is just going to piss through that. So I think you take all that off. There's no shrapnel with this, so I say that becomes that section on the air box, which goes from the air box to this intake to get through here. So we'll put that in. All right. So this is the bit I was talking about. Let's get that up there. So this section here is going to go from the intake bit there and onto the air filter. All right. So I've got that little piece in. See there in the bracket, bolt for the back of there, and then you can kind of see it comes through the door. And then you take this this rubber strip normally hanging down on here, so you remove that, and then from what I can tell, that sits right where it is, and you put three pot rivet holes that down to there. So it's about the spot where it seems to line up. So you see the brackets there. Pop pot riveted in. I've just put some sealer underneath it and underneath the rivets just to stop moisture getting in there because it's going to end just up Just put rough. some ultra grey gasket sealer on there. Now I'll put the snorkel on there I think and then it's kind of done I suppose. Alright I think a tip for this model is to undo the guard, the top half and loosen it and actually pull it out a little bit. I think it's about the only way you'll get the top uh, bolt. You can get it in without, but it's quite hard to tighten it up, so I'm going to loosen the guard off and pull it out a little bit. I'll give you a little look behind there so you can see what this bolt that I'm talking about. So as you see down behind there, the top bolt. Just there next to the in the pipe. Sorry, it's actually that one there that I couldn't get to. It's right up top. So I can get to it from here. In there. Just. So I'll get the ratchet in there and tighten that up. Oh, 
so now I'll just put the guard liner back in and it will flare back on and it's all kind of finished. Painful fucking thing. Finished. I mean, tips are really good, I suppose, is to um, not to cut down the hose that goes from the air filter to the pickup and just to get the top bolt, just to pop the guard away to get to them, really. Um, other than that, considering it's the only problem you have, is this doesn't follow the flare because it, the other model this comes off of the later one the flare comes out and then down with this is rounded so the flare doesn't quite line up here but other than that good enough